So a bit ago, I finally figured out combos in QMK. I had kind of, uh, figuring out combos in ZMK was pretty easy. You basically it gives assign e signs each key a number, and you basically decide okay these keys are, when pressed together output this key. And so it wasn't limited to layers. You could tell it to limit it to layers, but yeah. QMK works a bit differently, and I've kind of like figured out where I went wrong with it. So you can see that I've got the combo definitions pulled up, and I've got a few for like number keys and then um, switching a layer. So what... Basically, what it does is instead it uses oh the layouts, the key codes, and it's like when these two key codes are pressed together, you're going to create this key. So if I go into here and I go, I can type oh neo fetch. I gotta remember that, yeah, home is space and then on. So, and then, so I've got, if we go back to this one, I've got comma and period mapped as switching to my gaming layer. So I can, that would be these two keys right here. I press them at the same time, and all of a sudden I'm basically in my gaming layer here. And then I've basically put comma and period over here on this side on these two keys. So I can go back out and now I'm back in Dvorak. So there's still a lot of changes that I haven't made to it. But those are kind of the basic ones that I've made. So to get this working, what I had to do is I had forgotten some things that were kind of key to getting it to work. So one important thing that I had to make sure I did was, oh, this line here, include key map combo H, um, had to come after um, defining my layers. So each layer basically has a name now. And so I had to define what those names were and then in order to be able to actually effectively use the toggle command here at the bottom, which is built into QMK, and use the proper name for it, I had to define it first, and then it would be able to take it and use it. So the other thing was adding combo variable lane, and then combo term helps it know, like, how long a delay you can have to press both keys at the same time. And hopefully they're not keys you're going to press at the same time normally, which they don't recommend. So one thing that I am planning on doing with this, with it being updated, is this will move me away probably a little bit more from using tap dance for certain things, like on these keys down here. Oy. So these keys down here, Basically, I've had these two as tap dance keys, and these two basically are like um, hold modifiers. There's still a lot of stuff that I have to work around to um, get it to work right. So if I go back up to... Oh. I can remember what my layers were. So you can see, so we've got our tap dance keys on this side. And I've mostly oh, made these redundant, so I don't really need them anymore per se because of combo keys. But then I've also got, um, so this one is, when I hold this key, it turns into a shift GUI key, so it's shift super. And then this one is just a normal super when I hold it. And then this is enter and this is space. This one under the current tap dance is a space, 
But um, I'm thinking I should really change it possibly to a backspace because this is where the backspace is unless I hold it, in which case I believe it becomes shift and then double tapping switches it to QWERTY, triple tapping it switches it to gaming, basically. And they do have like home row modifiers set on the home row keys. I have removed some of them because they switch to layers rather than doing like actual modifier keys like alt shift and whatnot. But I'm thinking of changing that around so we don't have to stare at that. But yeah, so, so far, like this is what my layer layout looks like in QMK. I haven't done the like fancy keyboard layout thing. So I've kept the QWERTY around just for like good measure, but removed the layer switches that don't apply anymore. So like over here, these two keys don't get any, oh, changing. Don't change layers at all. <clears throat> this one becomes a left shift when held. And then we've got... Oh, this one will shift to the parentheses layer, basically under the index finger. And then we've got our quote layer that is under this key. And then the GUI layer that has like super key and whatnot underneath it that is there. FN, the function layer on the ring finger on the left hand side for your function keys to access those. And then on the pinky on the left side is another shift. So. Th those are, again, default stuff that it kept in. I did put, or did I put those? No, those might have been default. So underneath the home row on the middle and ring fingers are left control and are control and alt keys. Alt under the middle fingers, control under the, oh, ring fingers. Probably better to move them elsewhere. But other than that, it's basically your same default layers that you're going to get. What I'm looking at is probably switching around so combos are used more heavily than the tap dance, but I may keep the tap dance code in just in case I want to do something fancy with it because you can take some of these less lower keys and basically say, okay, here we go. Then the other thing I was looking at, so if I, let me actually pull that in from over here. Shush cat. Is that over here? Yes, that is. Copy. Okay, let me get a new window. <laughs> okay. So this is the website that explains how to do set up combos properly. They go over the basics of doing it manually and that kind of a thing. So they, and then they go over the macros to make it a lot easier on yourself, which I would highly recommend. So it kind of covers all the installation stuff, setting it up, getting it working. And then there's also the functionality of chords. And so what that is, is just like combos, except you're chording combos. So you can go like D, F, E, R to do like one key press or one string and so on and so forth. So you have many of these very similar, oh, very similar functionalities except it's cording it so you can go boom 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 all over the place and do stuff and it again it's not limited to just letters you can do any of the qmk key codes with it so th this is i'm still working it out zmk works better when it comes to some of the cording stuff that i was trying out somewhat um, if we go back up to our combos, oh wait, okay, so we've got, so on my gaming stuff, so basically the way I configured it, I forgot I had done this. 
I think. Somewhat. So it is kind of finicky, but yeah. So you've got basically these two are one key. These two are your two key and these two are your three key. On my gaming layer, I do have it laid out. So it's one, two, three, and then like a whole number a row along here. So it's just implementing these combos and possibly in some cases chords on the gaming layer means that I can take advantage of using of doing a full keyboard in just this like tiny 34 key layout, which would be pretty interesting to do. So I could have like the number row, the number keys all do something completely different when I press them differently. But yeah, just like a bunch of possibilities, more exploring with this firmware that I really haven't taken advantage of, even with, let me unplug you. Even the kind of functionality that I haven't taken advantage of with my big brick that I got for basically the needed full keyboard stuff. So it, it might be kind of interesting to implement that stuff in here. And especially since I better understand how to do tap dancing, that'll be pretty interesting to figure out. But I think I might go with combos more so. Sadly, the Ergo Docs doesn't seem to have combos implemented in the ZSA configurator, but that can be programmed in otherwise. So, yeah. If you found this exploration, like, along with me, pretty fun. If you have never saw the, oh, those docs before, or kind of missed them as you were looking around at functionality for your QMK keyboard or what all, then, you know... Feed the algorithm, do that thing, share the video around. Apparently that's what they look for now more is sharing according to some people. But yeah, um, check out the links and whatnot in the description and I will see you guys later.